The humpback whale is a widespread species of baleen whale and the only member of its genus. They are easily the most playful and inquisitive of the great whales, with incredible displays of breaching at the surface. Reaching between 14 to 17 metres in length, the species has a very distinct appearance, getting its name from the hump on their back that is apparent when they dive. This, coupled with their long wing-like pectoral fins and the tubercles on their heads and fins, make the humpback perhaps the most recognisable and iconic of all the whales. They are a generalist feeder, feeding on small crustaceans such as krill, as well as many different fish, particularly herring in the seas of the Northern Hemisphere, filtering their prey out of the water through baleen, a keratinous hair-like sieve taking place of the teeth. Like its relatives the fin, minke and blue whales, the humpbacks are gulp feeders, taking great mouthfuls of prey at once. The humpback's most famous feeding strategy is bubble netting, with the whales swimming below and corralling their prey into a tight space by blowing bubbles in a circle and spiralling to the surface with mouths open to swallow as much of their catch as possible. This is called group feeding, with several individuals coming to the surface at once to gulp up hundreds of krill, and potentially fish as well. Whale groups, aside from mothers and calves, don't often last for more than a few weeks, and will come together to collaboratively feed and when males are courting females. As stated earlier, they are the most playful of the whales, and the one that is seen the most breaching almost two-thirds of their body out of the water, and on occasion, their entire bodies have cleared the water. Breaching is thought to have many purposes, such as potentially removing parasites, communication with other whales, and perhaps simply for the fun of it. They will also engage in using their flippers and flukes to slap down on the water's surface, as a, potentially a method of communication or as aggression. They have also been known to communicate and congregate with other cetaceans, such as off the coast of Elephant Island and Antarctica. They have been filmed gathering in their hundreds alongside the larger fin whales. Humpbacks are known for being a very vocal species of whale, with the males orchestrating complex songs during the breeding season and they will sing for hours on end until the breeding season concludes and they have mated with as many females as possible. These songs are layered, ranging from discontinuous subunits then forming units which are individual notes, like those that you would read on sheet music, with several units creating the subphrase, collecting into a phrase, then similar sounding phrases making a theme. Then the multiple themes create the humpback song, a song unique to each individual humpback. Females will often approach a group of singing males known as a lek, a mating system often seen in birds such as grouse, such as the greater sage grouse, where there are several males at displaying and the females make their choice. Humpbacks, like many whales, will be hunted by the orca or killer whale that uses its intelligence, numbers and sheer power to single out a whale and proceed to kill and eat that animal. But humpbacks are one of the best equipped whales for defence against orcas and sharks. Their large pectoral fins will be slapped down on the surface of the water and onto a threat potentially. They will also slap with their flukes, throwing their tails around and can cr critically injure a predator. They will also use breaching as a weapon, using their full body weight to bring down onto a predator and then escape. During the breeding season when males fight, they will slash with their tails, ramming each other and headbutting. They have been known to use their fins as well. Humpbacks are well known for participating in great migrations, one of the largest of any mammal. Involving a voyage from the polar seas of both the northern and southern poles, where they feed upon seasonal bounties of fish and krill, to the tropics where they breed and give birth. In Australia, humpbacks will migrate to the Antarctic seas between spring and autumn. Then they retreat from the south before winter freezes at sea, and will move up to the tropical waters of the Great Barrier Reef during the winter to give birth to calves and for males to court females. In the Northern Hemisphere, humpbacks will migrate from the tropics up to the waters of the Arctic in the summer and back to the tropics in winter. Whales will often not feed on this journey as to not delay their arrival to their destination and will rely on their fat reserves to keep them going during this time and then make their way back and forth during the seasons. When the whales reach the tropics, the males will engage in a courtship race known as the heat run, where many different males will escort a female, trailing behind her. The first male is known as the principal escort, and must defend his position from any secretary escorts that develop into challenges, while the others will just trail behind. 
humpback females will produce every two years, and after mating, the gestation period of calves is 11 and a half months, giving birth in their wintering waters in the warm seas of the equator. The calves will suckle for up to a year, but will be able to feed on krill and fish by six months. The calves will become sexually mature between five to ten years, and will live for 50 years and potentially beyond. In the last few hundred years, the humpback whale was in an era of disappearance due to a hunting practice known as whaling. This is where large ships armed with harpoons would seek out and kill whales in great numbers. The whales were harpooned and hauled up to the side of the ship where they were killed by spearing. This practice was used to obtain the whale's meat, their oils and their bones. From the 16th to 19th centuries, the whale oil was largely used in the production of soaps, textiles, varnish, paint, and even explosives. It was also used in oiling machinery. By the 1980s, there were estimated to be only as few as 5,000 humpback whales left in the world. This species was a particular favorite of whalers as the species frequented coastal waters and was playful and inquisitive, spending a lot of time at the surface where they were most vulnerable. In 1986, after a global outcry by people around the world, the whaling industry banned commercial whaling, with only a few countries today that still participate in whaling, those being Iceland, Norway and Japan, with a few smaller nations and territories that will also still hunt whales, but largely for coastal regions, and not on the global scale that it was previously. Today, there are over 135,000 humpback whales around the world, and this recovery of whales sparked a new industry to emerge, whale watching. People around the world no longer view them as a product, instead wanting to witness the magnificence and majesty of these beautiful creatures, with them being alive rather than dead. It is estimated that around the world, whale watching generates over a billion dollars in income. And if we can protect the oceans, this industry may grow, with millions of whales and dolphins for people to enjoy. A playful and beautiful creature, and one that has captured the imagination of many around the world, and one that has made one of the greatest recoveries of any animal from extinction. Humpback whales are the globe-trotting wonder of the oceans, and always a privilege to witness. And it is thanks to us that this graceful giant can be seen for many to enjoy in years to come. If you love humpbacks and other whales, subscribe for more, and if you enjoyed this video, I'd sure appreciate a like. But for now, I'll see you all in the next one.